to perform a side lower block. Look in the direction of the block. Transform your shoulder width stance into a horse riding stance and block down. Make the movements as smooth as possible. Head, body and arm working together. The beginning point is the arm is at shoulder height and the block must finish once again in line with the outer aspect of your body. What Peter is doing here is one of our general warming up exercises. But it's actually a little more than a warming up exercise. It's a hip mobilization exercise that has a functional purpose. But the only problem with this is, because I've engaged my arm, my face is often open. The other issue being that the strength and the weight of somebody's leg against uh, somebody's arm often could lead to serious injuries. So from here, when the kick comes, my body turns slightly to the side. As I turn slightly to the side, I raise my knee to protect my, to protect my groin. As I do that, I carry the leg around and I cover. So what I do is, in slow motion, I, I deflect the leg, but I keep contact to bring his weight forward, to bring him off balance like so. I can do that on the inside or on the outside. The second kihon or basic kata is called gekasai sho. You begin by looking to the left and stepping back with the right into san chindachi, blocking upwards, jaw down okay with the left, stepping in san chindachi and punching to the chest, stepping back into Shikurachi horse stance and blocking down with the left hand Gerambarai. Now a mirror image. The breathing in Sanshin Kata known as Ibuki breathing is hard and long and is synchronized with the full duration of each movement in when blocking and out when striking. The breathing is initiated from the lower abdomen which centers and draws the power for the techniques. The following points are for testing a partner. The first, the neck, then the shoulders and the upper back, the buttocks, the abdomen, the outer thighs, the arms, the waist and last, the calves. and you should tense the muscles of the body and concentrate your power in the abdomen at the end of each movement. This type of breathing is useful in kumite for conservation of energy and focus of power in technique. Sepai Kata is a very sophisticated and advanced Kata. Contains techniques covering all five aspects of unarmed combat. This segment introduces the use of open hand blocks. Beginning with Kakyuke. Kakyuke is an oval shaped block on an upward diagonal plane. In this segment, we introduce Kakyuke as a two person drill. This is an ideal way to practice your distance, control, and coordinated movement with a partner. 